y'all be surprised man a lot of a lot of guys be out here a lot of guys really be tricking bro a lot of men are down bad a lot of men are just sad a hundred percent sad let me tell you guys looks a hundred percent matters the most it's not everything right a lot of guys they get a self-improvement plan they think that it's just they're just gonna work on their body and their face and that's it bone smashing to change the no you gotta work on your mind you gotta work on your money you gotta work on your muscle you gotta work on everything but understand guys looks a hundred percent matter let me tell you guys okay back whenever uh, I was scrolling on Reddit, right, a long time ago. I used to scroll on Reddit. I used to see other guys' experiences with dating apps. And you can still find posts like this today. I'm sure of it on, on some of those old uh, Reddit or some of those old Reddit forums. They exist still to this day. But a lot of guys will be like, oh, you know, women, they just ask about your money immediately after they meet you. They ask about how much money you make, what you and how, uh, or what job that you do and try to scope out how much money you have and what social status you are let me tell you guys back whenever i was doing this shit when i was on dating apps i never once got asked anything about my occupation anything about how much money i made and let me tell you why because i already had the social status it was pre-selection pre-selection is when a woman can look at you and she can tell okay other women want that guy and maybe that she doesn't necessarily want you for a whole relationship but she's more inclined to put her foot in versus she has to dig around oh does he have a lot of money oh does he have social status oh what is it about him why should i take you seriously right a lot of women will want you just off the basis of you looking good so let me tell you guys if you have all three money mind muscle you, and you got your spiritual life correct you are a rare breed you are top zero 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 one percent of men you don't even have to be the richest man in existence you are already rarer than most men because understand yeah there's rich guys like rich guys exist that's not that's not rare right muscular guys exist that's not rare guys with status exist that's not rare tall guys exist that's not rare imagine you have all four there is not going to be men like you right like it, and you're just going to stand out and assess pull a man way more than all these other guys so let me tell you guys three tips yes i got three tips for y'all on how you can improve your looks and this is stuff that you've never seen before if you've never seen me before by the way my name is bashir i make self improvement videos i'm doing daily uploads and we're going crazy on this so make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button okay and i'm doing free consults let me tell y'all right before i, I let y'all do these consults you're going to be in a video right i'm going to be picking apart what it is that you need to do in order to improve and you will be in a video so if you want to be a part of the consults whenever that link is available make sure you hit the subscribe button because you're going to know first when that link is available and i'll actually do a look consultation with you and i'll tell you what you need to do to improve your looks but let's get into it the last one's going to be the most important one so make sure you're watching the whole way through the video okay number one the first thing the first mistake that i see a lot of guys make right is that they don't do skincare a lot of you guys come out with nasty skin, pimples on your face. A lot of you guys have, you know, you, you have just messed up skin overall. It is not that hard to have good skincare. Let me tell you guys a hack. Go to Marshalls. Go to a department store. They will sell you cheap skincare, good skincare. And I'm going to tell you guys the skincare that you absolutely need, okay? First, you're going to need hyaluronic acid. <laughs> absolutely need hyaluronic acid is just going to make give your face moisture it, it's like a moisturizer essentially you're going to need some sort of retinol mm -hmm. right, that's going to make your face age backwards and it's going to take out any wrinkles you're going to need a brightening boost a brightening a skin toner mm -hmm. evening cream something to make your skin more even because a lot of guys have uneven skin tones at that that's pretty much all you're going to need. And then anything else that you get is going to be pretty much extra. And it's just going to add to your skin, tone, your skin tone. And a little bonus, right, is if you get an exfoliator. Because those actually can make your skin more glowy. And they can give yourself that little Instagram model looking effect where your skin looks like it's made out of rubber. The second tip I got for you guys is to get a normal haircut. A lot of people, a lot of guys walk around with these silly looking haircuts with long hair. I used to do the same thing. <laughs> so I, like, I'm telling you, a lot of guys walk around with their hair looking all crazy, they have dreads. And I used to think, you know, I liked it for me, right? But I really, I really want, I wanted girls. Let me be honest, I wanted girls. And it's like the attraction comes whenever you have the short hair, the short fade with the beard i'm telling you this is undefeated this right here is undefeated 
versus any hairstyle because you just look simple. You're not doing too much. You're not niche. You're just the everyday guy. And that is what's going to put you ahead of a lot of guys. Just the beard, short hair, the, the fade. And another tip, right, is I actually learned to cut my own hair. I cut my own hair and I've actually gotten really good at it. And so I'm able to keep a, a haircut every week without breaking the bank because a lot of this stuff I do without breaking the bank. I don't want to spend tons of money on, on when I don't have to. Next tip I got for you guys is actually to get your fashion up. Another high skill, I uh, know, another Another high value move that you can make is get your clothes from Marshall, right? I'm telling you, <laughs> Marshall and department stores have good clothes. And if you think that, you know, you got to shop at the mall, whatever, whatever, I'm telling you, you're going to go broke trying to impress people who don't give a fuck about you. Just shop at department stores, shop online. You're going to get way better clothes. You're going to get clothes that actually fit you. Clothes that are not in season, right, but you actually like. So timeless pieces. I find when I go to department stores, I get timeless pieces versus just getting something that's in season. And, of course, you can get stuff that's in season, whatever, right? It still works. But if you got the money for it, hey, spend it. But I'm telling you right now, I got the money for it. I don't even like to spend it on that type of stuff because I think it's stupid because you're going to the mall. Understand that there's a scam about malls, right? Malls are just big old clubs right it's just a lot of guys go there spend money get bags pick up women that's the whole business behind malls malls know this they're manipulating you stop going to malls go to department stores go online shop freaking timu if you have to right last tip most important one i got for y'all right make sure you're bulking up in the gym i'm telling you doing seeing what a nice bulk will do for your body will literally change your life. A lot of guys walk around, you know, you're 150, 140. Bro, that is victim weight. <laughs> that is victim weight, bro. Get your muscle up. And, and, and let me tell you, don't try to just bulk up and eat a bunch of fat. If you, you know, you want to look in the mirror, gradually see yourself gain a little bit of weight. When you see yourself get a little bit of fat, stay at that weight and then keep going. Right now, I'm staying at around 195, right? I'm, I'm staying at this weight and I'm letting my, my muscle actually catch up until I can see my abs at a lower weight. I actually, I'm getting bicep veins, right, at this, at this weight right now. I don't know if y'all can see it right here on camera, right? But I'm getting more bicep veins. Once I'm, I get really lean at this weight, that's when I can keep bulking right but you don't want to keep bulking because you know you don't want to keep bulking when you're already bulked up that that's going to get you fat but you want to put on a little bit more extra calories so your body has stuff to, to eat and to store especially when you there's days that you don't eat enough or there's days that you 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 know you might cut a little bit right so it, that's how you gain a bunch of muscle and i'm telling you bulking will literally change your whole face it will change your attractiveness it will change your, your head shape it will change your whole demeanor the your vibe your presence because you're getting stronger understand when you get stronger too when you do all the things i'm saying you're not only going to get more women right that, that's the you're not going to get only just going to get more attention from women right that hey that's a good thing but you're also going to get respect from men and you're also going to attract the presence of god this is me personally right you don't have to believe in god but what i personally believe is that when you start getting stronger when you start improving yourself and you stop getting all the bad habits out of your life stop smoking stop drinking stop and then actually locking in with your life god gives you more tools and more more he gives you a, a clearer path to succeed it's your boy bashthetics i'm going about bash <laughs> make sure you hit the like button i'll see y'all love y'all